Welcome to another video from Cuts Training and Professional Services. I'm Kelly Cuts, and if you find this video to be helpful, you can find this and other videos at www.cutstraining.com. In this video, we'll be discussing the user interface in Juno Space. Once you get logged into the user interface, you'll notice three general areas. There's the Juno Space banner at the top, the sidebar, and the main workspace or desktop. The banner is divided into the space logo, the name of the application that you're working in, you can see I'm in the platform right now, this will change as you go into ServiceNow, Ethernet Design, these guys, the date and time on the system, the date and time on the Juno Space appliance. This is important because your logs, any of your logs on the Juno Space system are going to be in the space time. If you're working a case in one time zone, and you're looking at logs on the space appliance, keep in mind you've got an offset of your time. And lastly, there are these five icons or quick links that always appear at the top of every screen. The sidebar, click that and make it go away if you want. You can click the help button up top, the orange button, and it'll come back. On the sidebar, You've got about, which brings up your information about space, most notably what version of space you're on. We're doing this on 11.4 R1.5 and how it's licensed. You've got the help. These help items will change they're context sensitive right through here anytime you click on one of those dashboard overview brings up another screen that gives you information about whatever it is you're working on quick link it's very helpful and close that down getting started getting started is context sensitive wizards if you'll notice I've gone into service now and it's changed. If I go into um, Network Activate, it's got quite a few of them. As I drop down into those wizards, these helps, they lead me through some of the basic jobs in Juno Space. Go back to my main screen. In the main screen, these icons here pull up your applications. You'll notice that Ethernet Design is grayed out. That, act, that is not an active application. These other applications are active. ServiceNow, that little pop-up can be annoying, eh? Service Insight and the platform come installed with the base installation of Juno Space. The rest of these applications are installed after Juno Space is installed. They're add-ons. When we go into any one of these icons, open up one of these applications, just click on it. At the top of the screen you have your application ribbon. This is a multi-tiered layered ribbon that allows you to move quickly through your different tools. So let's take a look at devices here, this first one. Notice over on this side, all of my other icons from the ribbon have been compressed. Devices is right here and it's opened its sub-ribbon right here. 
If I drop down into another, say Discover Devices has a subribbon of its own, it's now opened up these icons and it has changed the desktop for discovery status. If we go back to just devices, you notice here I've got device status. On these desktops, you'll notice these graphs or these gadgets. This is information that is provided specific for, in this case, devices. They'll change with each, each desktop, each workspace that you go into. If you want to quickly sort through to the information that makes up these, so I've got device by count, device count by OS. If I want to know what makes up this piece of information, this is how many devices. It says I've got seven devices on version 10.1 R18 of Junos. And I want to see what those are. I want to see it quickly. I just go highlight it, click it, just hoover over it and click it. It'll build a, it'll bring up a filtered list in managed devices of just those devices with that one OS version in this case. And literally every single one of these um, gadgets on these desktop are this way. Backing up a little bit. Again, if I go down into manage devices, here's my unfiltered list. Now, if I want to see this in a different way, I can see it in a thumbnail view. I can see it in a table view. In the table view, I've got more information at a glance, so it can be very handy. In the thumbnail view, I've got this details button at the bottom of every little icon. If I want to click on that, see the details of, of this particular switch. From here, if I want to see the same, I can double click on that entry or click on the item I want to see, I can pull out the actions drawer and I've got all these options as to what I want to do. If I want to view my interfaces, export a physical inventory, I can get that same list by highlighting one of the devices and right clicking it. And that same list pops up. So if I want to view my interface, view physical inter inventory, I can do that from there. Return to the inventory. I can pull down the little arrow, gives me a sort, and then columns gives me the ability to add or take away columns from my display list. So you have control over your screen. You get the information you want displayed the way you want it. Now I want to take a second and point out a very specific tool, if we go back to home here, I want to point out a very specific tool in JunoSpace. It's something you're going to use a lot. You should get in the habit of checking it often. And it's called the job management. What In JunoSpace, users run jobs. These jobs give you the ability to log on to the system, schedule a function, and then log out of the system. It'll run later. You can come back later and check the status of it. If you go into Manage Jobs, you see I'm logged in as the user Kelly. You can see there's a whole bunch of jobs that aren't mine. Okay. Up here on the banner, there is a icon that looks like a set of gears. This is the My Jobs. This My Jobs button quickly opens a filtered list with a quick status of the jobs I have run. You can see all the different jobs that I've run. Okay. If I want to, from there, and this is available in any screen. So if you're in service now, you kick off a job, then you want to go check the status of it, you just click on My Jobs, boom, pops right up. You don't have to go back to the platform, to My Jobs, to Manage Jobs. You just click the button. Um, Click on the Manage Jobs button at the bottom of that. It pulls up a filtered list of your jobs. 
just your jobs. Very handy. Get in the habit of checking your jobs. You go through, you see a lot of jobs will have success. Like here's a failure job. There are some jobs in Juno Space that even though they do show as a success, what that means is they finished running without an error. You may or may not have gotten the results you wanted. You need to check that. Get in the habit of taking a look at them. You can see the details of the job, when it was run, what happened. Uh, you can check successful jobs. Here's the database backup job. And you can get more information about what's going on on your jobs. Back up here in the banner, quick link to the application switcher. This gives you the ability to jump between applications in Juno Space. So if I go into Service Now and I open, uh, let's say, Service Central and I open Incidences, and then I need to go back to the platform and do something, I go back to the platform. Let's say I go into um, administration, whatever, it doesn't matter. So I go into admin. Now I'm done with what I need to do, and I go back to service now. It's going to take me right back to where I was before and quickly help me open things up. So I don't have to. Um, tunnel my way around, I always go home back there. I can go back to the main application with the application switcher and just switch my way around. It's a very simple user interface. It's consistent from application to application. Transport activate, same look and feel, same icons, same getting started help over on the side. Okay, and lastly, the user preferences button up at the top. This is where users will change their passwords this is the passwords that are stored in the local database. This is not Radius passwords. If you've got Juno Space hooked to a Radius server, then you'll maintain your passwords on the Radius server just like you normally would. So we talked a little bit about the areas on the screen. We talked about the banner and the five quick links over here. We talked about the icons in the system. We talked about the application ribbon at the top here. We talked about the gadgets on the, the uh, desktop. We spent a little bit of time talking about the two different ways of sorting your, your workspace. We talked about how to sort by each individual column. If you want to sort all your OS versions together. Talked about filtering. We talked about how to add, take columns away from your screens. Like I said, it's a very simple interface. It's a very intuitive interface. Thank you for viewing this Juno Space training video. For more Junospace how-to videos and information, please go to our website at junos-space.com.